Hello everyone, Joanne here. I'm just starting to sketch my girl on the background that I made a while ago. Um, but I didn't, I started a portrait and I decided I wanted to use the background for um, this new painting, so I'm just drawing over it in pencil. As you can see, a little bird on a branch above the girl's head using white gesso, gesso to block out her features and the tree and now I'm using a water soluble crayon Neo, Neo, Caron Dash Neo Color 2's in a sort of pastel yellow shade just going around the edges at the moment just to highlight them and a little pocket I'm using water to activate it in the bird a bit. I call the bird Freddy, that's her name. Using white gesso get on the background to blend it a bit more. I'm using skin tones, dark skin tones and a flesh tint for her face, arms and neck. Just drawing in the body of the bird and again as it got lost with the gesso. Shading the body and the face and now adding some Neo Color 2 water soluble crayon to the background to tint it. This is a transparent crayon, so we'll just add a nice a tint. It won't cover up the background, just color it. Two different colours, a, re an or a very orange red and a purple. Just filling in Freddy the bird in pastel shades. I decided to use a white water soluble crayon with my acrylic paints to make them more pastel colours and more opaque. I'm just blending the pastel shades on the bird so that looks quite uh, well shaded. It's very orangey yellow so use some white to make it a bit more pastel coloured. Going over the dress now in the same colour. lots of layers, always make a lot of layers, wait for them to dry and add another layer. Just lightening up the background a bit with white acrylic paint and the edges of her dress. I'm doing the face now, adding my guidelines and drawing in the features. Just trying to get everything even and balanced and the right sort of size. So her eyes are quite big compared to the size of her face and that's what I wanted. And she has a very small nose for the size of her face. And it's just a whimsical style. It's not meant to be realistic, it's just meant to look um, sort of cute and whimsical. And now I'm using a micron pen, a marker pen, to add permanent lines so that when I paint over them, they won't, I can still see them. Pencil tends to disappear when you start painting. It gets washed away, it's water soluble. So just filling in some of her features with some acrylic paint, her lips and her eyes. And now adding highlights. It'll take a lot of blending to do, to, to make the face. So lots adding highlights and then adding shadow and mid-tones and then highlights again. So it's sort of a cycle that you do over and over again until it becomes as you like it. So adding some more highlights to the dress. Such a cute dress. I actually had a dress like that when I was little. My mom made it for me, but it was red. Actually, that's why I drew it on this girl because I want I just wanted a reminder of it <laughs> in the painting. 
So doing a headband, adding shadows, shading. adding more highlights and, and mid-tones to her face to give it dimension. Sort of make it look as if it's curved around the sides. And the bits that stick out to lighter. painting cheekbones and foreheads it's one of my favorite things to paint and then eyes I think after that I like to make them try to make them as round as possible so adding some purple to the outside the edges of the page and more red this is my new FW ink in pearlescent pink, which I love. I'm just going to add some more of this to the dress. And these are two more FW inks, marine blue and green, dark green. Use those for her eyes, although her eyes are sort of brown, which I'll add the brown later, with a hint of blue. shadow to her headband to make it look a bit more like cloth. Some golden black, carbon black, which is a very opaque black. Made from soot I think, but something that's been burnt, that's how they make carbon black paint. the brown to her eyes now, the sort of light brown with blue edges. And now adding the detail, the, the, the darkest darks and the lightest lights. Work on the tree branches a bit more using water soluble crayon. They're just roughly sketched. It's just a suggestion of a branch. And I wanted that color in the picture as well. And I like the way the second branch, the one that goes down, needs your eye down a bit. Using some acrylic paint and some Dilusions ink spray because I ran out of white ink. So I'm using the spray instead to add the little decorations to her hair. And now just finishing the bird making his colours stand out a bit more, or her colours, I think it's a girl, yeah. <laughs> it's Freddy, F-R-E-D-I. Adding some white highlights, the feathers. And now I'm painting her little butterfly wings in white. Decided to use a pen, an uh, acrylic paint pen, which I just sort of tapped so that some ink fell out, and I'm using that to paint with. It's quite handy really if you go on holiday and you don't want to bring a pot of ink, of paint, white paint or black paint. You can just bring your marker pens and use those instead. It's really good quality ink as well, acrylic. It's very opaque and smooth, it goes on very smoothly. So I'm just painting in little details on the butterfly wings. Little cute touch, whimsical touch to her. Makes it the picture more playful. And it's nearly finished. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.